from their example. We learned about dignity and decency, that how hard you work matters more than how much you make, that helping others means more than just getting ahead yourself. We, we learned about honesty and integrity, that the truth matters, that, that you don't take shortcuts or play by your own set of rules. And success doesn't count unless you earn it fair and square. We learned about gratitude and humility that so many people had a hand in our success, from the teachers who inspired us to the janitors who kept our school clean. And we were taught to value everyone's contribution and treat everyone with respect. Those are the values that Barack and I and so many of you are trying to pass on to our own children. That's who we are. And, and standing before you four years ago, I knew that I didn't want any of that to change if Barack became president. Well, today, after so many struggles and triumphs and moments that have tested my husband in ways I never could have imagined, I have seen firsthand that being president doesn't change who you are. No, it, it reveals who you are. personal what being president really looks like. And I've seen how the issues that come across a president's desk are always the hard ones. You know, the problems where no amount of data or numbers will get you to the right answer. The judgment calls where the stakes are so high and there is no margin for error. And as president, you're going to get all kinds of advice from all kinds of people. But at the end of the day, when it comes time to make that decision as president, all you have to guide you are your values and your vision and the life experiences that make you who you are.